Welcome back everyone to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you top 5 beginner's tips for builders. Let's get into it. So first thing first, you wanna make a part. If you didn't know, this is where you put the parts. You go in home and you can choose whatever part you want. I'm just gonna choose block. So the first tip and trick guys is gotta be shift and control while scaling. So if you wanna scale this to, for example, this green dot to this red dot, instead of scaling it like this, taking a long time, all you can do is press control and it will scale both of the red parts or the blue parts or the green parts whatever parts you chose you can also select shift to just make it bigger overall for instance if you want to make a floor you can just scale it like this you see how fast that was i just made an oreo and if i select everything and sh shift it down you will see that now this is a way better size for what we have Here's tip number two. You see how it is big, but I can't scale it down. Here's grids. Grids are really useful for when you're building. And if I just press this, there's gonna be no grids and I can scale it up to whatever I want. I just made a pillar here. And if I want it to be there every 10 studs, I can just place this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it inside. And now, as you can see, every 10 studs, there's gonna be a pillar. The third tip you guys is that if you go inside the toolbox and you want to have like a house for example If I put this house party fun house Maybe you're like, oh, this is exactly what I need. This is cool But be careful guys if you hover over it You can see that it has scripts some of those builds has scripts that can hack inside your account and Steal everything your personal information and everything so there's two things you can do with those either you just skip them and choose another one which doesn't have any scripts or you can select the model right click and click disable scripts but if you do that make sure you double check talking about models you see all those pillars you see this explorer is just called parts parts part you can select an object you want press ctrl g or right click and group and then you can rename it to whatever you want which is going to be pillar and even after you do this it might still look like a mess but you can create a folder, name it to whatever. I'm going to name it pillars. Grab all of your pillars and put it inside the folder. Close the folder and now it already looks way better and you can still move them around. Hi, it's me. I forgot about something. You also can anchor, which makes it so this object just stays where it is. You can't push it around. It can't fall through stuff or whatever. And also you can lock stuff. So if I lock this, you will see that I can't select it anymore. This is the same with the base plate. So if you want to move the base plate, for example, you just click on lock, click on whatever you want to, uh, to uh, unlock. And now, you, as you can see, I can select the base plate, which is pretty cool. Here's the last tip. We're going to talk about unions. As an example, if you want to do a donut and you select a cylinder, you can scale it down using control or shift, like I just showed you guys. And you want a hole in the middle and you're like how do i make this well here's the thing here's the trick you put a part this part is going to be the delete part so wherever you're going to make it it's you're not going to see it so what is what is going to happen is that this part is going to make a hole inside this part this is how you make it you go inside module you click the part you want to make the hole with put negate then you press shift and select the parts you want the part here to make holes in and then you press union and that's it we've made a donut or even a macaroni <laughs> what is cool with that is that you can stretch it to whatever you want but here's the thing you cannot open it so be careful with what you use it so here was the five tips and tricks for beginners builders i hope you really enjoyed that video if you did please like and subscribe comment down below whatever next video you want me to do and i will gladly uh, reply to your comments. See you next time!